What's up, sheepdogs? Okay, so I'm coming to you from Chicago. Uh, a couple of days ago in my story, I actually said, hey, sheepdogs, you know, um, what do you want me to make you videos of? Because I want to make some content. <clears throat> and a lot of you were like, stress, like, yo, I'm stressed the fuck out. Time out. If you're stressed out, go to the link in my bio right now. I made you this free mini course. It consists of an audio, which y'all know I'm really good at. And then a, it's, it's, this, um, it's a workbook, but it gives you pictures. We're picture people. <laughs> um, and, and it's really going to help you out. So go up there, grab that free mini course about how to stress less. It's only for sheepdogs. So if you are a sheepdog, go get it. It's made specifically for you. So anyway, so we're going to talk about stress. I want to talk to you about downtime. Downtime. So I find that a lot of us, we don't take downtime at all. Um, it has become Western culture to go, 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 go. So when you get up in the morning, you are, you're working out, you're eating, you're making your coffee, you're getting ready for work, whatever you need to do, you go to work. Then you're at work and you know that you've, you're, gonna, you're gonna be busy if you're a patrol cop. <clears throat> Or you know that your sergeant wants you busy, you know, the PD, they want you busy. So you've got to go do whatever you need to do to make yourself busy. So you're busy, busy, busy. Um, and then you come home and some of you, you work seconds or thirds. So maybe after shift is when you're going to work out and you're going to do your shit. And that, you know, that doesn't, I, I'm not even tipping the iceberg, <laughs> right now hitting the tip of the iceberg right now as far as like all of your co-curricular shit like maybe you've got kids um you got spouses you know maybe you take care of your parents maybe they're a little older you have like elderly people that you're taking care of um if you have a house gotta take care of that um you know and and this is not even if you like have hobbies maybe you don't have hobbies maybe you do like maybe you volunteer maybe you're this and that so whatever so at the end of the day like we're fucking busy right like we're just really busy and you don't take enough downtime and that is why your stress is it's sending you, like, you your bathtub is full right now because you don't take any downtime so I'm gonna give you an example today I got up <clears throat> at about six o'clock this morning and went to the gym and I worked um, on my computer. I, um, I'm, a, uh, I'm an online faculty member um, at the college level. So I had 20 paper, 27 papers I had to grade yesterday I had to, and I had some follow-up I had to do today. Tonight I've got more to do. So I was doing that, I was working on my business. I'm setting up my business page, yada yada. Got ready, went, um, took a shower and then I met um, some police officers for breakfast you see on my profile. Then I, um, went and I explored Chicago and that was go, 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 go. Right. And then, and then, um, my, you know, my friend, my intuitive sheepdog, she dropped me off and then I went walking and explored Chicago some more. Then I came back. And I had about an hour and a half to when my husband was gonna, is going to be coming back. He's on his way back now. I did what a lot of you won't do. And it was something I had to force myself to do, okay? It's not something I just naturally like doing. It is not natural for us type A personalities as I took some downtime. I put on an audio that makes me feel good, that adds to my life. I got stuck in the bullshit scroll for about 15, 20 minutes. I won't lie to you about that. That's not downtime. Because your mind is still fried. But then I laid down. I'm chilling, hotel bed. And I listened to that audio. I took a 20 minute power nap and I'm ready to go. I feel, I do not feel stressed out. I feel refreshed. And and, and I know you guys are like, yeah, Autumn, like you're like traveling, da, 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 it's easier for you. No, no, I do this home too. Like I take downtime. I take a 15, 20 minute power nap. I will shut myself in my, in my office and I will listen to an audio. I will take the downtime. And I just want to remind you of that because that is the shit that's going to help you empty out your bathtub, okay? Like, like your emotions, like your bathtub is like, 
all the like the emotions and the stress and, and all of that shit that you just kind of tuck away and put down and put down. Well, when that starts to get filled, you start to get stressed out and then you can't handle the shit that you always used to be able to handle. That's why calls might bother you more. That's why when that fucking asshole decides to call out, you get pissed off a little bit more. That's why when this happens and that happens, all of a sudden, shit that used to bother you, like never bothered you, it's bothering you now. That's because your bathtub is getting full. So you need to take some downtime. Downtime is whatever that makes you happy, but you have got to do it. And it's typically alone time. Downtime is typically alone. Or maybe like your spouse is sitting next to you, but y'all are just watching a movie and completely zoned out. It's like, no, we're not talking about this movie, but we are gonna watch this movie. You know what I'm saying? So take your downtime. That's the lesson. If you're continuing to feel a little stressed out, link in my bio, go get it, free training for you.